Hi, kids. <laughs> Mr. Kem here, doing a live presentation. You kind of feel the electricity in the air. Um, what I want to do today, I want to continue our discussion on properties, chemical, physical properties, chemical, physical changes. And what I have here is some dry ice. What dry ice is, is just carbon dioxide, a carbon dioxide, which is what at room temperature? Yes. Gas. Gas. And in order to get it into the solid phase, it has to be put under some very extreme conditions. And what do we all know about dry ice? It's cold. It's really cold. And it undergoes a process known as sublimation, which means it skips the liquid phase and goes right to the gas phase. Now, if you look really close up there, can you see the kind of it looks like vapors? That's not actually the dry ice. That vapor you see is water that's in the air. When it gets near it, it's, it's really just fog. It's not carbon dioxide, it's fog. The water vapor, there's always some water vapor in the air. And when it gets close to the dry ice, it's so cold that the water essentially becomes fog. Now, what, what's happening as we're just sitting here talking, or in my case, standing, sorry, is carbon dioxide is formed. So, excuse me, carbon dioxide gas is formed. And as it goes from solid to gas, it's undergoing a change, a change of state. Is that chemical or physical? Physical. That's a physical change. Nothing new is formed. We've got solid carbon dioxide changing to gas carbon dioxide. Now what we're going to do is discover a couple more properties of that gas. Hopefully this should be... Watch closely. Oh, wow. That's what I was waiting for. What the? <laughs> so, based on what you just saw, what are a couple of properties that you can, that you deduce from carbon dioxide gas? Colorless. The obvious one that a lot of people overlook, correct, it's colorless. Denser than air. Thanks, it's more dense than air, yep. Some people might say it's heavy. That's not exactly, a, that's not a chemical term really. It's more dense than air. In other words, equal volumes of carbon dioxide and air, the carbon dioxide is heavier, which means it's more dense than air. And what else? Compared odorless. to odorless. Yeah, it's odorless, but the people out there in YouTube land can't really tell that. Based on what you just saw, I mean, it obviously sank and it's what? Not flammable. It's not flammable, correct. It's not flammable. That's why what's a common use for carbon dioxide? Fire Puts out fires. Yeah, and so far, oh, wait, unlike the more, unlike the density, the not flammable, what type of property is that? Chemical or physical? Chemical. Correct. That's a chemical property because when something starts on fire, that's a chemical change. So flammability, flammable, not flammable, that's a chemical property. Density is a what? Physical. Physical property, because it, it can be observed without any change taking place. And if you want to, or did you already focus on it? I guess that's about it. This is the part where you zoom in on me and I go, 